Hi, it's Stella from Ipul University, and this is Stella Short and Sweet for Crystal Palace from Pearl and Spear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Crystal Palace, the first World Fair in 1851 London, where you are amazed by the spectacular inventions. The game plays two to five players with mechanics such as worker dice placement with no dice rolling and set collection. The game is medium to heavy complexity. In Crystal Palace, each player represents a nation trying to recruit well-known people, build great inventions, by paying the requirements to earn income and points, as the player with the highest points after five rounds wins. On player's turn, each would secretly set their own dice to whatever value they want, reveal at the same time, then pay one per dice pip they set this round. Then each player, one die at a time, plays their die to a space. When everyone's finished placing, action gets resolved from location one in ascending order. Each spot can take certain dice pips or above, higher dice pips gets resolved first, and some place you need to pay extra cost to place there or do the action. Points you get from invention matching up the invention with relevant famous people, being famous on the bus track, and many more. It has a good table presence without being a table hog. When I first saw there are dice in this heavy-ish Euro game, my thought was, what? Dice? But the dice are not the ones you roll, so instead, I uh, really like the mechanics. Money and resources are tough to get. There's income track that you can increase, but you go down a few each round, so you need to split your focus on increasing your income each round, so you can afford to use your workers. Trying to be the first player on the next round by having the most dice pips is great, so you can get the first pick of the good stuff, but that may cost quite a lot. There are a few things you can do on your play board, including newspaper resources that you can convert to other resources. A nice feature of the game, I think. Some actions that you take relate to other penalties or bonuses, so there are quite a few things that you can possibly chain together to make the game so satisfying to play. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Mipul University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. Hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time.